Hello everyone, welcome back to Keto Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can restore a deleted pages in your blogger website. So let's say you have mistakenly deleted a blog post and now you want to restore that blog post or page to your blogger website then how you can do that. So just follow the steps as shown in this video and you will be able to recover your deleted pages in blogger. So first of all, we can restore a deleted pages by going to the trash section. So let me delete this blog post top 10 biggest companies in the world. So let me delete it. And when you delete the blog post, it will go to the trash. So you can easily restore it by going to the trash here. And here you will see this option. Either you can restore it to the draft or you can directly publish this blog post. So let me publish this again. And let's go to the post and as you can see that the blog post is restored. But here uh, did you notice that when I delete this blog post and when I go to the trash section, you can see that it will uh, stay in the trash for 90 days and after 90 days this post will be removed from the trash. So make sure to restore it before 90 days if you want to. And there are other method you can restore blog post by restoring the backup file. So when you go to the blogger settings and scroll down here, you will see a backup option like backup content. So let me click on here and I can download my backup. So it will download all of my blog posts to a file and I can restore this file. So what I can do is I will click on import content and I will click on import. And I will choose the same backup file and it will upload that backup file to our blogger website. Now this file will be imported and you can see all of the blog post will be imported here. So let's wait a little bit. Now let me just refresh it. And as you can see that all of our backup content is restored. But here as you notice that the blog post is shown here twice. That's why I recommend you to create a new website, import that backup to that website and later on you can copy the content from that uh, website. Like if you want to restore this page, then you can just uh, copy the content from that demo website to your main website. Don't restore the backup content in the same website, otherwise you will see a duplicate content issue. So I can simply delete it by clicking on manage. I can select all the duplicate content here so let me select it and let me select the duplicate content and I can simply click on delete and let's click on trash post and as you can see that all of my posts are gone and in this way you can restore it either from the trash or you can restore it from the backup content and there are another ways you can restore your deleted pages so for this we will use a website called Wayback Machine so I will simply search for Wayback Machine in Google and here you will land on this page. So let me select it here and here you need to enter your website URL. So let me enter my website URL here and I will hit enter and as you can see that it has taken a lot of snapshot of our website techleaf.in and here you can see the latest snapshot is taken in man 17. So let's click on any of this snapshot here. So let me click on here and here this is the snapshot so suppose this post is deleted by mistake then i can simply click on here and this website will show my content like this so as you can see that all of my content is there so i can copy the content and republish that blog post so in this way you can restore any deleted pages in your blogger website so this also work with other platform like wordpress joomla or any other platform like wix so you can easily restore the content by going to the Webback Machine website and just enter your website URL and it will show the latest snapshot and if the deleted pages in there then you can easily copy the content and restore that pages. And there are other ways you can get the content by going to the Google Cache. So if you are not finding that page or post in the Webback Machine then you can use the Google Cache website. So this is the webcast.googleusercontent.com forward slash search and in question mark you will see the cache so you need to enter the website url here and you will see the cache version of google so suppose you want to see this blog post so just copy the url so let me copy the address and let me replace change the url here and let hit enter 
and it will show the cache version of that page in Google. So in this way, you can easily restore the deleted pages from the Google cache. So I will include the link of this URL in the description. All you have to do is just replace the URL of that page or you can directly paste the home page URL of your blog or website. So this is how you can restore a deleted pages. So either you can restore it from the trash or you can restore the backup file or you can use the Wayback Machine or you can use the Google Cache website. So these are the four methods that you can use to restore a deleted pages of your blogger website. So if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. And if you have any doubt regarding this, then you can ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.